Hello students, in the last video we have learned some facts about perfect squares. In this video we will continue with it. The square of a number other than 0 and 1 is either a multiple of 3 or exceeds the multiple of 3 by 1. For example, 3 square is equal to 9. We know that 9 is the multiple of 3. 4 square is equal to 16. 16 is equal to 15 plus 1. That is 16 exceeds the multiple of 3. That is 15 by 1. Next. The square of a number other than 0 and 1 is either a multiple of 4 or exceeds the multiple of 4 by 1. For example, 6 square is equal to 36. We know that 36 is the multiple of 4. 7 square is equal to 49. 49 is equal to 48 plus 1. That is 49 exceeds the multiple of 4. That is 48 by 1. Next. The difference between the squares of two consecutive natural numbers is equal to their sums. Let us take two consecutive natural numbers 3 and 4. The difference between their squares is 4 square minus 3 square that is equal to 16 minus 9 that is equal to 7. And we know that 7 is equal to 4 plus 3 that is sum of that natural numbers. Next, numbers between square numbers. How to find non-square numbers between two consecutive square numbers? Let us take two consecutive square numbers 1 and 4. And we know that the non-square numbers between 1 and 4 are 2 and 3. So, total 2 non-square numbers are there. Let us take another example. That is, the non-square numbers between 4 and 9 are 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we got 4 non-square numbers between 4 and 9. From these examples, we conclude that if we take any natural number n and n plus 1, the numbers of non-square numbers between n square and n plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into n, that is 2 into the smaller number. Let us solve them. Solve some questions. How many non-square numbers are there between 6 square and 7 square? Let us do the first one. We know that here the smaller number is 6. So the non-square numbers between 6 square and 7 square is equal to 6 into 2. That is multiplying the smaller number by 2. That is equal to 12. Let us solve the second question. That is, how many non-square numbers are between 80 square and 81 square? Here the smaller number is 80. So, we had to multiply 80 by 2. That is equal to 160. So, there are 160 non-square numbers are between 80 square and 81 square. Now, I hope you understood how to find the non-square numbers between two square numbers. Let us study about square root of a number. What is the square root of a number? We know that 4 square is equal to 4 into 4 that is equal to 16. We say that square root of 16 is equal to 4. This is written as square root of 16 and this is the symbol for square root that is equal to 4. Similarly, 7 square is equal to 49 and Square root of 49, we can write it as 7. 5 square is equal to 25. And square root of 25 is equal to 5. Similarly, if m square is equal to n, then root n is equal to m. Let us study how to find the square root of a number by repeated subtraction method. Let us solve one question. Find square root of 9 by repeated subtraction method. So, for that, we had to subtract odd numbers from 9. 
that is 9 minus first odd number that is 1 is equal to 8. Step 2 that is 8 minus second odd number that is equal to 3 is equal to 5. Step 3 5 minus next odd number 5 that is equal to 0. So we have subtracted from 9. The successive odd numbers 1, 3 and 5 and obtain 0 in step 3. Therefore, square root of 9 is equal to 3. Let us solve another sum. Find root 16 by repeated subtraction method. So, in first step we will subtract 1 from 16 that is equal to 15. Next 15 minus 3 next word number 3 that is equal to 12 12 minus 5 next word number 5 that is equal to 7 7 minus next word number 7 is equal to 0 so in step 4 1 step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 we obtained 0 therefore square root of 16 is equal to 4 so now i hope that you have understood how to find the square root of a number by repeated subtraction method and this is your today's homework and that's all for today thank you